Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in on What's Up Falcon. Today we have a very special episode, but as always, I'm Austin Wallace and this is Kaylin Campbell, hey. my lovely side host. So like I said, we have a very special episode. We have a group that is probably the, well, the most well-known club at JV. It's Drumline, and a very specific group of Drumline, the seniors, and we have a little montage that's made just for them to show y'all what's happened over the past few years. And our special guests today are Ivan Rodriguez and Matthew Furman. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being on the show with me. Um, so we're going to ask a lot of different questions. We're going to ask you about Drumline, about the year ending, and just all everything in between. Uh, I want to start off by asking what drums y'all play specifically. Uh, well, I play the snare drum, What's which that? it's... Basically, it's a smaller drum than what everyone else usually has. Uh, there's snares on the bottom of the drum, which creates the, the sound of the drum, and it's more of a high-pitched sound than the rest of the other drums on the drum line. I play the tenor drums, which is the, the middle voice and like the drum line hierarchy. It's uh, six drums strapped together, and I think they're the coolest ones, I guess. <laughs> What, is there like debate on which drum is cooler in drumline? Yeah, yeah but everyone sides with their own drum all the right. time. That's probably what I would do. Like, which one is the best? I gotta know. <laughs> I mean, well, let's just say bass because neither of us play bass anymore. <laughs> well, we we used to, so we'll go with bass drums. Okay. okay. Um, so I want to talk about how you get into drumline and like what are the requirements. So like, is there like an initiation or do you have to audition or is there like you just get picked? Like, how does that work? Well, there's an audition process that goes on every single year, and so it's during the spring semester. Usually around May, there's an audition that takes place. You usually get about a month to learn all the music, and the music consists of two snare etudes, along with like six pages of warm-ups. And then there's also a two mallet etude and a four mallet etude that you play along with the warm-ups for those, which is about three pages or so, plus all the scales and chromatic and all that stuff. So it's, it's a pretty hefty amount of music. But I, I li I'm literally not even responsible enough to do one page of homework, and that's like so much work. I'm like, how do you even, how do you remember all of that stuff? Like, that's a crazy amount of stuff to just, do you memorize it, or do you have to learn how to read music? Do, do, you, do drums read music? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's usually mostly just rhythms as opposed to rhythms and notes. So I do have one question. Why, why are there no girls in drumline? Like, is it like a distraction thing? Are you guys intimidated by women? No. Um, there used to be a girl on the drumline when we were freshmen. Her name was Marika. She was like the drumline mom and sort of took care of all of us. Um, next year, well, she, when we were freshmen, she was a junior. The next year, she went on to become a drum major. So I guess she was done with being on the drumline, which I can't fathom. So. Does Drumline have, or have you ever heard of, any like crazy like initiations? Uh, we personally do not have any initiations, but we've heard stories of like drum corps, which is basically on another level of skill. It's like major league marching band. Pretty much. Um, and we've heard stories like, there's one story that we heard where the newbies basically on the line have to basically pull down their pants and the veterans on the line get to play the drum break on their butts, their like bare butts. So sounds fun. There's oh there's some pretty interesting. Y'all should start a tradition or like an initiation. That'd be cool. And then like make it like a big deal. Ideas from Austin. Starting now. Starting yes. Um, so we've asked the school some questions well we asked them what questions they have for y'all by using the tweet Ask Drumline and Kaylin is going to ask some of them right now for y'all, and I'm gonna chill. I got you. One says, how many cheeseburger y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to read that one so How many bad. do you got? Like on a scale of one to 10. Like a percentage? Yeah. yeah. Like a percentage of cheeseburger. I just spit all the way to the flowers. 
102% uh, with a 2% margin of error. That's quite, can you beat that? Do you think you can, Matthew, at all? Oh, I, I was gonna go with zero. What's another one? <laughs> can I be on drumline? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> This person wants to be on a dumb line. If you really want to learn all that music, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Obviously, the school thinks y'all are very talented and uh, have an interest in cheeseburger. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how talented y'all are. So uh, I want to see it for myself. So we're going to play a game called Drum That Trash. And we have in this box right here a whole bunch of random crap that we found literally 10 minutes ago. And uh, are we getting into teams? Is, are we doing that, Demi? Teams? Yeah, teams. Okay. Get into two groups, and you have 10 seconds when I say go to dig through there and find a drum and a drum tapper. I don't know what it's called. Drumstick. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Like, run. You have 10 seconds. Go. Nine, oh. eight, oh. seven, <laughs> six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. No, put it down. Okay, these are the two groups. You two and you two, just because you're all on different sides. That made me lightheaded. Okay, so you two sit on this couch right here that you were just upon. No, you gotta stand. Wait, hold you. Wait, wait for your turn. Okay, now you have 10 seconds to drum something starting now. That's good. Oh my god! I thought it was gonna be really weird, but that was way better than I expected, like at all. Okay, get off the couch. Your turn. You come up. I don't know you people. What's your names? My name is Nicholas Bristow. And my name is Nicholas Di Marino. The Knicks. Okay. You guys ready? Hey, right. ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Very nice, gentlemen. Very nice. <laughs> Y'all can come back on out. Uh, who, who do you think? What team? We're going to call these two the Knicks and these two the Others. The Others. The Others. Uh, unless, okay, wait, what, what team name do you want? Hurry. You've got two seconds. One. Five. Two. It's the Others. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, in the Knicks group, there was a slight bit of hesitation at the beginning. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> It was a little. A little bit. But the ending ended very strong. Yes, it did. But with y'alls, it was a little bit boring at first, but then it added a few more layers, and it was really nice. Who, who do you think? Cast your vote now. They had more trouble getting everything they needed, and then you guys already had, like, two instruments. So you're good. You guys. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree. Y'all are the winners. I'm so sorry. <laughs> After this episode, we have chips for you. Um, okay, now I want to get back on more of like a serious note. This is y'all's last year. These are your last few days as a JV drummer. What is that like knowing that after you walk across that stage, you're not going to be a part of the Drumline family anymore? Oh man, that's a tough one. Yeah, that is pretty tough. Don't cry on me now. It's okay. <laughs> No, I think we did enough of that during the marching season. Well, you, you sort of experience it every year because every year you have the seniors leave. Um, like when we were freshmen, I still remember the seniors that left my freshman year. Um, it was all, I guess it's a really special experience. Like you're going to miss drumming with them, but you also have new people coming in and you're going to provide the same experience for them that the seniors experience, that the, the seniors experience with you. I kind of know how you feel because I feel like Drumline is also like JVTV where it's like a family and it's very tight knit and everyone kind of knows each other and sees it as a family. Is there anybody in Drumline that you're going to be extremely sad to not have to not get to see anymore on a daily basis? All of them. <laughs> Honestly, like we're we're basically family. Like we spend so much time together. It's pretty much like eight hours every single day throughout summer, and then even more added on top of that during the year. And it's just you build a bond with everyone, and like nothing can sever that bond. Like basically, all of us are brothers on the line, and then. We're also with Front Ensemble too, and so we all have bonds with them as well. And it's just, it's just hard to see 
anyone go, really. Sort of build a, a everyone's tight knit together, but uh, the reality of it is it the reality of it is like your section, the people who play your instrument, those are the people who you end up missing the most because they're the people that you stand next to literally all the time, whether it's in the stands or on the field. So uh, personally, I miss the tenors more. I miss everybody, and I'm sure Matthew has a stronger feelings for the snares than he has for the rest of the line. So like, y'all recently just played your last concert, right? Yes. What was, what was it like knowing that that was the last time you guys were get to, going to get to perform as a group? Honestly, I didn't really think of it that way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's kind of heart aching, I guess you could say. Uh, it really sucks that that's the last time we get to play together after, you know, like seven years or so being together and just like growing with each other. But I mean, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything in the world. And a lot of y'all have known each other and drummed even just before high school, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, you said seven years. That's a long time. Uh, I mean, it does suck having to leave, but I mean, is it nice knowing that you're leaving Drumline in good hands and that you are going to get to go off to college and, you know? Yeah, definitely. We, like, throughout the year, we just, we make sure that we provide a good example and sort of like a, a legacy that lives on. That's really awesome. Kaylin, do you have any questions? I'm trying not to get all like, sad because this is actually really sad. That's how I feel with like other uh, classes and stuff. Like you're with them for so long and you have to lead them after so many years of being with them. I know that's hard. You are kind of, this is your last few days as a drummer, but I feel like you're always going to be a drummer, a JV drummer, by like yeah. in, your heart. in your heart. I probably just hit my mic. But um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for watching this episode of What's Up Falcon. Make sure you watch all of our other episodes and also make sure you follow us on all of our social media.